Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm just going to be uh, doing part two of uh, my mountain tutorial series thing. Um, okay, so this is what, where we were at last time. Uh, we had used the ant landscape generator to create this mountain sort of thing, and then we just added a plane, which is going to be our sand. Um, yes, that's it really. So um, this section is modifiers and. Well, it's going to be quite a fun section, really, um, I think. So, um, yeah, alright, let's get into it then. So, first of all, our sand is really flat, and sand is never flat, ever, unless you've been, you know, you be doing all sorts of stuff to the sand for days to make it perfectly flat. Uh, even then, it's not going to be perfectly flat. So, anyway, basically, what I'm trying to say is we need to give it bumps. So, we're going to go into edit mode. Um, we're going to subdivide it uh, ideally four times, mm, maybe five, no not five, four times. Anything less than four, I realise that for some reason, um, well the texture is so soft that, uh, and um, you know, it's like, how to put it, it's like, it's got absolutely no depth whatsoever and it sort of just gets sort of in these faces here and the majority if not the entire thing uh... just ends up staying flat because all the stuff that's there um, is sort of under hiding behind the faces of the mesh and we don't want that we want there to be bumps alright so we're gonna go into the material i'm just gonna give it a new one and call it sand uh, but we're not gonna do anything with the actual materials that's for part um, three was it um yeah part three uh so for now just gonna just give it a new material i'm gonna call it sand um oh no not sand we're gonna call it uh disp and um just set the depth down to zero we're not actually gonna uh, i said that like zero uh down to zero and um we're just gonna uh leave it at that oh hang on make sure this box is un checked this box here because then it's going to affect the color and stuff and we don't want that to do that so now we're going to go into the modifiers and give it a displacement modifier and choose disp and now it's going to be big and nasty and stuff uh, so we're just going to decrease the strength and in fact we're just going to add a subsurf modifier as well or subdivision surface whatever you want to call it same thing really um, just going to bring this plane out of the mountain uh, slightly uh, and now you can just decrease the strength of the displacement modifier just so that you can get some nice bumps in the ground like that okay so that's good enough for me I might just increase the view of this to 3 and uh... Hang on. yep that's a lot of uh, vertices um, alright so next step is to give it a more of a sandy kind of texture so we're going to give it a new texture, set it to image or movie, open uh, our image, and I've got my textures saved here, um, choose open image, and uh, we're going to leave this box ticked because we do want it to affect the colour, um, but yes, it's the only sort of texturing that we're going to do in this sort of tutorial uh, for when it comes to colours, and we're going to call this sand, uh, like that. And uh, now we're going to add another displacement modifier. I'm going to use the sand texture to do that. And now, if we just decrease the strength, you can see uh, it almost looks weird. Um, so I might just change the direction from normal to Z, and just do it again, just adjust the strength slightly. And now, uh, yeah we got that nice sort of sand kind of texture I just moved the camera down slightly to just sort of make it work a bit better um, alright and I might just increase the subsurf modifier to 4 and then adjust the strength to 0 0.02 okay so I'm quite happy with that um, for our sand um, so yeah uh, next up is the modifiers for the mountain, so I'm just going to save uh, as save as part two, double end, and we're just going to sort of save a few times. All right, so the new mountain d uh, modifiers are going to be as follows. First of all, we want to give it a subsurf modifier. 
and I know I've given it 300 subdivisions earlier, uh, but you know, um, yeah, I'm just gonna see what this is gonna do. Um, Alright, so I'm actually just gonna bring the view down to 1, and uh, leave the render at 2, because uh, in fact I might actually just turn up, uh, like, not to visualize the subsurf modifier for now because it's just going to make my computer crash in a second because you know I'm recording the stuff at the same time and that uses up a bit of pr uh, power and stuff so yeah alright so we're going to give this a new material as well that we're going to call mountain and again we're going to leave that uh, go into a texture or the texture thing and we might as well just use this text thing uh, call it clouds and we're going to call it M disp um, yeah, it's called it MDS. Uh, so that means mountain displacement. Um, we're gonna decrease the size by quite a bit, like 0 0.05. So that's really small, and increase the depth to about six. Uh, leave this box unchecked for now, and I think that'll be fine. All right, so now we're gonna just um, go over to the modifiers again and choose displacement, and choose the MDS. And as you can see, it's now gone all fuzzy and yucky. But if we change the direction from normal to Z, again, like we did with the sand, then it looks a lot more neat and tidy, but it's still really yucky and fuzzy. So I'm just going to decrease the strength. Um, and because this is kind of, you know, it's going to take up a lot of power, we're just going to put in precise amounts rather than just dragging it along. Look at that. Alright, so, um, yeah, I'd say that's... Uh, you can see it's sort of affecting the floor, but not too much anywhere else. So if set that to point two, like that. Um, in fact, I might add some weight paint onto this in a second, uh, just to sort of affect it. Yeah, no, in fact, that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, all right. So we're going to go into object data, uh, go into edit mode, and uh, in fact, we're going to add a displacement modifier. Uh, in fact, we're going to add two, and this one is going to be called sand. In fact. I'm going to tell you why in a bit, um, in fact I can tell you it uh, pretty much now. We're going to add two displacement modifiers, so um, this one is now going to be called uh, disp. So this is just for normal displacement, and yeah, so um, what we're going to want to do is now if we go into weight paint, um, you can now see that it's gone all blue, but we're going to want to untick that. Uh, stop visualizing all these uh, modifiers because otherwise it's going to lag a lot. Alright, so I'm going to increase the strength to 1 because I don't like having st strength that's not 1. I just like to adjust the weight when it comes to things like that. And we're just going to sort of go into camera view. Mm, front view, actually. I prefer front view. view. And uh, we're just going to uh, uh, color in all the bits where it's really steep in red. Um, because, you know, I want the steep bits to be all bumpy and stuff and rigid. Uh this bit's quite steep as well. Um okay and just decrease the weight a bit and just sort of choose these more less steep areas like that. And then getting quite low, just gonna put in some weight here. And leave the bottom like that. But now if we go into top view, it's all yucky, so we can just sort of fix these things. Um, don't worry too much about what's happening in the like the back of the mountain, because that's not going to be seen. So that's fine. Um, just colour in this whole area here. Um, but yeah. Um, this is sort of similar to... Um, What's his name? Blender Guru's tutorial. But there's, g there's gonna be a few more similarities to that later, but this is, it is a different tutorial. It just involves mountains that have been made s in a similar way to Blender Guru. So yeah, just before you call me, like, saying that I'm copying him, when... I, I can see why he would say that, but... Mm, nah, I'm, I'm not really copying him. I'm not copying anyone, really. Um, okay, so... Um, yeah, there we go. Um, always need some more red here. Um, okay, so um, oops, 
Alright then. And just fix that thing down there. Um okay, so that's what we've got so far. Hang on. Um Oops, that was a bit too not heavy. Um alright, so yeah, uh we've now done that and that's looking fine. So just gonna go into object mode again and this was the uh disp, so yeah. Uh, under the vertex group, we're going to choose this and then just visualize it again. Okay, um, so yeah, it's not done too much, but it's just made things a little bit more rigid and awesome looking. And if we, if we were to view that, it's going to look a whole lot different to what it looks like now. Uh, but we're not going to. Um, all right, so the next bit is the sand and uh, what we're going to do is basically do the exact opposite to what we did with this one uh, this is just going to get all the areas where it's nice and flat um, yeah so we're going to white paint with the sand one selected um, just going to um, uh, get the white paint again and just find all the flat things so I just forgot want to make sure this isn't being previewed um, okay so yeah now if we go again, and it's going a lot quicker now. Okay, yes, so just gonna uh put some white paint around this place. And uh because I'm not quite sure where the sand's gonna be yet, um because I'm gonna use material nodes to decide that, uh I'm just gonna sort of kind of leave out uh I'm just I'm just gonna sort of adjust the weight based on height and stuff. Um if that makes sense. Um, okie dokie. Uh, it's quite, it's not too steep here, so I'm just going to have a bit of weight around here and around here. Like that. Um, okay. So that should be uh, enough. I'm going to move a bit more in this place. Um, and uh, we're, sort of, we're sort of going in lots of angles here. Oh, hang on, I want to just decrease the weight then. Um, yeah, so it's sort of about, you know, just finding flat places. You don't have to spend ages just finding every little flat place. Just find flattish places. Um, and then just, um, yeah, just smear it with some weight paint. Uh, and that's the same with the steepness. Um, around here is quite flat. Um, yep, yeah, that's about it. Maybe a bit more here, and a little bit here. Alright, so that's it really for the sand part. Uh, oh, hang on. Just gonna go round here a bit more. Like that. Um, alright, so yeah, there we go. So save, and go back into object mode. And I'm going to give it, oh, we'll just drag the mountain down a bit so that the sand is, yeah, because I just saw a little bit of a gap. Alright, so, um, yeah, we're going to add another displacement modifier. And it's going to be the sand texture again. Um, but in the vertex group, sand. And then in the direction of Z. Okay, so now, oh, it's looking a bit strange because it just sort of lifted a lot of the mountain up. Um... And let's just leave it at about whoa hang on. Um just leave it at about point one. And um if we were to just tick the subsurf modifier again it's gonna look a lot different. Uh but we don't wanna do that. Um in fact you know just this just for this bit, I just wanna see what it's gonna look like. Just gonna tick it. And um yeah. So it's gonna take a while. Alright, so you can see how the cloud uh, well not the cloud, the normal displacement modifier has affected it, the sand hasn't really shown up at all which is kind of annoying, but that doesn't matter, but uh, you can sort of see how everything else has been put into place like that um, so yeah um, oh, look, you can see a bit of sand has popped up at the bottom alright, so we're gonna untick that and both the displacement modifier, so we know what it's gonna look like Alright, so this has been the modifier section. I can't think of any other modifier we're going to add on to this. Nope, so that's the end of that. Um, part 3 is going to be materials, so yeah, have a nice...
watch of that now. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and visit my website. All that stuff you can do is in the description. And goodbye.